Hello and welcome back to my channel and to the olden days of the internet. Hold on, let me pull it up here. There we go. The olden days of the internet. Actually, this is from like, I think this is from 2015. I don't remember. Does it say anywhere here? 2017, okay. I was like two years off. So maybe not quite that old. But, God, remember when we used to take quizzes on websites? It seems like we do that less and less now. I, like, had to search up quizzes on BuzzFeed just to do them now. I think this one's on Quora. Quote TV, okay. Anyways, so, let's just get into it. So, the quiz, of course, is, who would be your anime best friend? First question, it looks like there's 12 questions. First question, what characteristic do you look for in a friend? Not a question I usually think of. Uh, what is this show all? Are you saying these are not all the... Oh, it's just... Okay, that makes it easier. <laughs> um, Let's see, someone opposite of me? Definitely not. Someone smart? Mm, someone funny? Usually, yeah. Uh, someone who's been through what I've been through? <sighs> I mean, that's something we can connect on, sure, but I don't know. Someone with goals in life. I don't know oh, if he's not my best friend. Missed. He's definitely not someone with goals in his life. Someone caring? Yeah, I can see that. Um, Someone smart and fun to hang around. Well, I found out recently he's not all that smart, so I'm going to go with just someone funny. I think that seems to be the bigger, that just seems to be the bigger, uh, factor. Don't get me wrong, I like having an intelligent conversation and all that, but... I find more value in humor than I do just intelligent conversation. We're all people in the end, you know? <laughs> How would you describe your past? Normal, sad, great, and not comfortable answer. Hmm. It's like somewhere in the middle of all of these. Let's see. My childhood was great, I would say, but that's not the only factor into a past. We talk about my past, it's kind of a mixture of normal and sad. No, it was sad. How would I describe myself? Annoying. <laughs> No. Funny, smart, talented, boring, average. I'm definitely not average. Hyperactive. I definitely had that label applied to me. Or positive. <laughs> Certainly don't got a positive outlook right now, so nope. <laughs> it's gotta be between, I don't know, annoying or hyperactive. I'm gonna go with hyperactive. Am I athletic? I'm in that in-between, kinda. I don't do sports for fun. I do do sports for fun, but I don't, like, do them seriously. You know? How do I describe my relationship with my parents? Well, my dad's dead, so... That kinda sucks. Let's see... I have none. I do have at least one right now. I would not say we are very close. Uh, there is no like in between. It's either we're close or not. The closest in, in between is we used to be close but aren't anymore. Uh, I guess this one. What do you like about your best friend? We compete against each other a lot. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we do. We are pretty competitive. Uh, both have goals we want to accomplish. It doesn't seem like it. We're both quiet. Definitely not. No friends respect each other's flaws. 
None. In fact, usually we'll make fun of each other's flaws. <laughs> we always disagree on things like we... We always agree on things like we share a So you can have like the complete opposite on those and it's neither of those. I'm gonna go with the competition. What is my favorite anime of these? Oh god. You know, this is uh, 2017. I need to look something up real quick. Ruby 2017. Valium number. Okay, that was fourth volume. Got it. Uh, fourth volume was, I believe, the one where I. Uh, that was either the one where they got the lamp or they took on Adam. I don't remember which. No, fifth is where they took on Adam, so. I don't know. I think fourth volume was the forgettable one. So I guess that's out of the question. Uh, let's see here. Black Butler was okay. It wasn't anything great. I like Inuyasha, yeah. Um, Fairy Tale is pretty good. Your Line April is a hard hitter. Um. Ooh, we got some good ones. Ah, man. Definitely not Yuri on Ice. I'm actually surprised they didn't put uh, Boku no Pico on here. Just, just for the same reason that they put Yuri on Ice on here. Um, Tokyo Ghoul has its problems. I think I'm going to go with your line April. Which sounds most interesting in a person? Someone with a mysterious past. Okay. A strong, independent person. Open, happy person. Someone who acts happy but isn't. A closed off person. Someone who won't stop till you're their friend. Oh god. The only thing is, I have friends from all these categories. And I'm not sure which one I found more interesting. Hmm. This is a tough choice. Let's see here. Well, I guess probably the person with the mysterious past, because if they talk about it, it becomes interesting, you know? Which quote do I like best? And this looks like it's the longest fucking question because there's tons of quotes here. Anything can be a sword if you polish it enough. Somebody told me I was a failure, so I'll prove them wrong. I like that one. I don't need people to help me grow. I drink milk. <laughs> That's a quote from... Uh, I think that's a quote from uh, Mega Man Star Force. Spoken by a short person, might I add. You have to do the opposite of what people expect. How else will you surprise them? I like that one. Uh, so, so far it's the I'll prove them wrong and the uh, I'll surprise them. Do you always have to have a reason to help someone? That's a really good one. I like that one. Uh, I've said that one way too much in my time. <laughs> you can't win if you're always on defense. To win, you have to attack. I actually agree with that. Um, 
I don't know. It doesn't exactly... That one's good, but I think I like this one better. No, I won't abandon it because if I... No, I absolutely hate that one. Forget what hurt you in your past, but don't forget what it taught you. I like that one. You can't hope for a horror story with a happy ending. That's that's true at the very least. It's not wanting to scroll. If a miracle only happens once, then uh, what's it called when it happens again for a second time? Interesting. Maybe there's a dark road up ahead, but you still have to believe and keep going. Believe what the stars believe that the stars will light your path. Even a little bit. Come on, let's go on a journey. Uh it's a bit wordy of a quote. I think after all that I've been through, something like that would hurt. Eh. It's not a favorite quote, but it's more of an average quote, if you ask me. The only thing we are allowed to do is believe. We won't regret the choices we made. Definitely not a fan of that one. So, I think it's definitely between the surprise and prove them wrong. Oh man. Having to choose between these two. Hmm. I don't know. I think I like this one better. The opposite. Do the opposite of what people expect of you. How else do you surprise them? I do like that one. Last question. Sorry, it was so long. It's really not all that long. The only part that was that. The only part that was even questionably long was the quotes question. But okay. Do you like sweet, savory, salty, or sour foods? Oh, so I gotta choose between the flavors sweet savory salty or sour and instantly sweet is my answer um i do like salty and savory too sour is probably my least favorite of those thanks for taking the quiz please check out some of my others doesn't affect your answer okay so why is there two answers i guess i'll just go with the first one <laughs> Oh boy. Um. So how do I get Aaron here? Last time I took this quiz, by the way, I didn't. I did take this quiz uh, before on on my own time, and I got that uh, chick from July and April. I forgot her name already. Hikaru something I think it was. Anime Attack on Titan. Backstory. Aaron was born in Shinanshina, district of Walmaria. Aaron has a half-sister that he rescued from human traffickers after her family was killed. I don't remember that unless you're talking about Mikasa, which... Where is that detail? I believe this was around the time that Season 2 came out, so it makes sense that I don't know some of the stuff they're talking about here. He had a few friends through... He had few friends, though his best friend was Armin Albert, who had a book about the outside world, which inspired both of the boys to want to join the Survey Corps after a giant... to join the Survey Corps. This is something that's always bugged me about. Um, this is always something that bugged me about Attack on Titan. Why are there? Why is there nobody already outside the wall, regardless of whether or not the army wants them to or not? It doesn't make any sense to me. After a giant Titan kicked a hole in the walls, 
Titans began to infest Aaron's home district and ended up killing his mom and many others, which is part of the reason Aaron wants to kill all the Titans. Personality. Aaron is a loud, impatient, hyperactive person. Actually, it's pretty quiet in the anime, but whatever. Even when he gets older. Aaron is known to uh, start fights, but also tries his hardest to protect the people close to him. He is short-tempered and can be strong, talented. Can be a strong, talented fighter when he really tries. And I guess he's a good. Uh, I don't know if he's actually a good uh, person to fight alongside with. Interests, outside world, puzzles, <laughs> training, and fighting titans. Eh, seems like they kind of went with this whole interest lines kind of thing, which, not really, but not really my thing. But, I mean, interest aligning is okay, but they don't always have to. When you guys, why you guys would be friends? Okay, let's check this out. Both you and Aaron have a reason to protect the people you love and care about. That's true, okay. Though you don't have a short temper like him, you'd be surprised. I'm pretty sure my short temper is pretty well documented on this channel, especially in my Mario Maker series. <clears throat> You're always there to keep him in check and stop him from uh, starting any fights. Actually, I'd probably be joining in the fights with him, let's be honest. You both like to train and work hard for the things you want and have a hidden trait in yourselves that only comes out at certain times. Eh, okay, so it's a pretty average choice. It's not as bad as the choices that I could have gotten, I guess. Oh man, I'm certainly not a fan of this choice though. So. Yeah. Holy shit, did I really close this that hard? No, fuck it, it made it into the shot. Anyways, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. There are links in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. Seriously, what the fuck? Why can't I not. There was no way I closed it that tight. Finally got it open. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's been sitting on my shelf for a bit. That was pretty strong. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna end the video now. The sunset's low, Sunset.